So what is going on guys, Ivan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get any Pokemon you want on your 3DS using custom firmware. Now, what we're going to be using is this app called PKSM, also known as Pokemon Save Manager. And basically what it does, it, let, it allows you to um, mod your Pokemon to get custom stats and such, and also import Pokemon into your Pokemon PCs. And super easy to do all you again all you really need is just custom firmware and if you don't have custom firmware i'll leave the latest video of mine and uh, showing how to install that in the description below and if you do need help make sure to join our new discord server i will not be taking any messages in person uh on my instagram reddit or my my discord private messages it's only going to be through the discord server i just wanted to clear that up and um Basically, um, the installation is super easy. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below containing the CIA file. It's super easy. All you really need to do is just go on a website, download the latest uh, CIA or 3DSX if you wanna use it on Homebrew, uh, put it on your uh, CIA folder, and um, I'm gonna be showing you how to install it through or download it through FBI um, because I haven't done it yet. So, just wanna go to SD, CIAs, and there we go, PKSMCIA. And as you can see, it's um, Gen 4 to uh, Gen 7. So, you know, it's going to work. I'm just going to install and delete CIA. So, here we go. We just opened up the Pokemon Save Manager app. And as you can see, it's going to start uh, loading up right here. And of course, you can see it checks for updates. It automatically updates if you have Wi Fi, I'm pretty sure. And as you can see, it has the cartridge, and um, I'm pretty sure installed games, um, your um, Pokemon, other Pokemon games would appear on here. I'm going to open up the game cart, and just want to press A. And it's going to start backing up the save. And what you can do now is you can actually edit pretty much everything of your game that you have saved. So you can uh, go to your storage, it'll go through your uh, boxes. I actually took out all of my... Um, Pokemon and put it to Sun. I'm gonna just go to um, my uh, to your bag, and you can actually go through all the stuff. And you could um you know just mess with how much uh items you want. And I'm pretty sure you could replace items for stuff you don't want. So you could uh change this Ab uh Everstone, and just uh replace it with I don't know a Dusk Ball. And there we go. And you could see. Um, it'll start, um, you could select how much you want from it. I'm going to put in a 20 as a, a small example. And as you can see, 22 is right there. And if you want to add Pokemon, you could go to editor. You can go over here and then you can just press A to an empty slot. Press A to edit and you could see the entire Pokedex is over here. Um, so, you know, if you uh, just go right, it'll just go through the entire Pokemon list. I'm not really going to do so, but as an example, I'm going to just uh, put in, so I'm going to just press A to select, and then you could edit all the stats if you want. Uh, you know, I'm, you could max out this entire thing. Um, you could actually just press on a number and put in the, put what you want manually, and you could um, mess with all the level. I'm going to make it to, I don't know, I think it was level 100 is the max one. And then um, nature, you could change what nature you want it to be. Uh, item, you could give it an item, shiny, I'm gonna make it shiny, because why not, pokey, um, rust, uh, you could edit, um, the original trainer, I'm gonna just, uh, put in, uh, high, and as you can see, the original trainer is high, nickname, you could replace the nickname, friendship, put it as high as you want, and then after that, that's pretty much it, you, know, you can mess with the moves, add whatever moves you want, could press A, go through all the uh, possible moves, ever, and then you could go to miscellaneous, and it'll uh, you could mess with all this if you wanted to. You could um, just press save once you're done, and that's pretty much it. And um, if you want to go to copy over games, you could press uh, clone and put it into the uh, other storage, into your storage, and you can um, just. Uh, copy it over to another game if you if you wanted to so after that um, you could just press a uh, once you're done and then you could just press save 
and then you can just press B, B, and then start. After that, uh, you could launch up your game again. And as and as you can see, um, I'm in the uh, I just spawned in at the Poke Center because that's where I last uh, came from, and I th I'm pretty sure this is the person that's gonna offer me the uh, free um, event Pokemon. Yup, that's my name, and then see the mystery gift, the event Pokemon, and there's Diancie. And then, as you can see, I'm going to go into my Pokemon, and then there's a Diancie. And then you can go into your PC and look at all your edited Pokemon. I'm going to go to withdraw Pokemon so I could put it in my team. And then here we go. You could see um, the uh, Mew I edited and um, all the absorbs I've added. And you could just press A and press withdraw. And here we go. You have Diancie and Mew in my party. So um, this is really cool to trade with your friends. I'm pretty sure you can put these modded Pokemon into the Pokebank and put into Pokemon Home so you could transfer it to pokemon sword and shield and let's go and that's pretty much it make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you all later